Okay, YouTube, I'm going to do a video here on how to wire up one of these transfer switches. Um, I, uh, I use the Blue C. I think it's a good quality um, transfer switch. And what this is going to allow me to do is, uh, with, with regard to my wind turbine, uh, I'm going to wire this up so I can uh, flip this uh, into position 2, uh, which will directly um, feed this plug-in grid tie inverter which will then uh, spin my meter backwards and directly reduce my electric bill um, and then I'm going to flip it into position one if I want to just charge my battery bank uh, take that power and just go directly to the battery bank I'm out of the box I'm just going to flip it around and show you what we're dealing with here you're going to see three terminals on the back the bottom one there is our common terminal this is where I'm going to take my positive um, lead and connect this to. So it's going to come right from the, the turbine, that positive lead it's, going to, lead, it's going to connect to this common terminal. Then I'm going to connect uh, a positive lead from, position, from um, the number one terminal from this to my charge controller and my battery so it'll charge my battery if it's flipped on that and this the terminal 2 will be a positive lead from this to my positive lead on my plug-in grid tie inverter and uh, I should also add um, the negative leads now the negative leads are not going to be attached to this. The negative lead from your wind turbine should be attached to your your battery bank, or in my case, it's attached. It's going to be attached to this um, bus bar, my negative bus bar, which is connected to my battery. So it's basically like me connecting the lead to my battery. So that's where your negative lead from your wind turbine is going to be connected. Now you're still going to need another um, negative lead, and that will be um, you're just going to run a lead like I've done here temporarily here. I've got a lead here from my negative on my grid tie inverter, and that will also go to the negative bus bar or to your battery. So it's basically kind of a common negative there. So now before I get started, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, kill all the power coming into uh, uh, my system here so I don't electrocute myself. Alright, so I just got the uh, main lead through. It was kind of a tricky little move snaking that thing through the hole this is actually going to be the common red positive even though it's black wire it's going to be my positive lead uh, and this will connect to the back again the common input at the bottom there so it'll connect there and the other part of it the other piece of this positive lead is going to connect um, to the positive from my wind. Now my wind starts out as three phase. As you can see the three wires here. This rectifier turns that into um, DC and there's your positive coming out of the rectifier. It just goes through this little this little 50 amp breaker and this will attach to it via um, these crimps which I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna do my crimp Okay, so there we go. First lead is crimped on. Shrink tube is wrapped around. Okay, so this is the first crimp. It's been whoops. It's been crimped, and uh, I just connected it back um, from uh, through the breaker. So again, this is the red positive it comes directly from the turbine now we're gonna connect this to our common I'm not gonna tighten this down yet because I've got to do the other two leads um, so now I'm going to do the same thing uh, but lead one will go from um, uh, from from this lead here from the number one um, terminal to my battery and the number two will go from the number two terminal to my plug-in grid tab. So here's the K 
connections here on that back of the transfer switch. <clears throat> so again, here's your common. It connects, uh, goes directly uh, from the turbine. And again, if you were using solar, this would be um, directly in from your solar. Um, we go right to this, you know, after you go through your breakers and so forth. You go directly to the common, positive, I'm sorry, the terminal uh, one input is connecting this lead to here, to the positive on my uh, battery, or my bus bar in this case, which is connected to my battery. And then terminal two. These are all positive. Terminal two lead connects this um, directly to the positive on my plug-in grid tie inverter. Again, the negative on the grid tie inverter goes between this and the negative on the battery bank, or in my case, uh, to my bus bar, which is connected to my battery. And that's basically, uh, that's, that's step one. Um, <clears throat> step two will be wiring my dummy load. My dummy load is going to be, um, I'm going to connect um, my leads from here to my banker resistors. And this would be in case this failed. Uh, if it fails, your, your turbine spins out of control, free spins, damage PMA. This will prevent this. So this will allow your turbine to spin under a load, meaning still create energy. Uh, and except we're going to, that energy, since it can't feed into here, if this is dead for whatever reason, the grid's down, it'll take that and it'll burn it off in the resistors. And then lastly, I'm going to wire um, my relay switch on my wind charge controller so that if I'm in position one, it's going to charge my batteries, but when my batteries get fully charged, instead of, instead of taking the relay from the battery uh, and then going through here into my dummy load and burning it off, I'm going to have it go from here through the relay, except that relay is then going to go to the grid tie inverter. So that will allow my batteries to charge and then when they put, they're topped off, everything else will, will be diverted or relayed into my grid tie uh, inverter. And then if that were to fail, again, it goes from here to my banker resistors and my dummy load. Okay, now I've got this all hooked up and uh, I've tested it uh, and it works. I've tested everything, actually. The diversion mode, uh, the simulation if the grid, go down, grid goes down, so it all works. So here's the final bit. So you saw on the back of this, we've got the common from the wind, the positive from the wind. Starts right out of the gates, positive goes right through the breaker and to the back of the common, that terminal at the bottom. Position one, the terminal behind there, the positive from here to the positive on the battery bank. This one right here, or in my case to the bus bar, which is to the battery bank. The terminal behind position two, positive, goes from here to, let me put on the light, to this one here, which is the positive on the plug-in grid tie inverter for the wind. You could do the same with solar. Um, then I've hooked up the dummy load for the plug-in grid tie. So if this thing were to fail for whatever reason, it malfunctioned, the grid went down, whatever, um, any excess power would be diverted right to whoops to this this uh, bank of resistors, the dummy load. So basically, I've got from here, you can see the two lines, the two wires. They come right from the dummy load, and there's two terminals in there, and they go right to there. So that takes care of that. The last step is <clears throat> the relay. So I can go, if I'm in position one, charging batteries. So I can go, um, when the batteries are fully charged, um, what will happen is, this, by the way, is connected to my battery bank, this, this one, this uh, positive. But what would now happen is batteries, this thing would say, all right, batteries are fully charged. So then all that excess power 
um, would then, and this would only happen if I'm in charge mode, um, would then be relayed through here and come through here, and this is then attached to this positive terminal on my plug-in grid tie. So there's actually two terminals on this. This one here is if uh, the load was diverted because my batteries were full and it would then divert and go right to my grid tie inverter. And then again if this thing failed the dummy load from here are these two lines they're connected right to the dummy load, the banker resistors.